to Jerusalem on one day, and later, <clears throat> uh, by the end of the week, he was arrested. And the day later, uh, during, uh, during the trial after his arrest, he was uh, charged with blasphemy. He said he was the Messiah. He was telling the truth. The religious leaders of the day said he was lying. A day later, he was executed on a cross for that lie. That was when Jesus did something about access to God. That was when he didn't just turn the tables over. He did away with them. The Bible says that when Jesus died, something amazing happened in the temple. You may or you may not know what the, table, what the temple was shaped like, but, the, but you walked into the, uh, into the temple and there was one large room, but at the end of that large room, there was another room, a sacred room. It was separated uh, by a large, thick, heavy curtain. And the Bible says that when Jesus died, when he died on the cross, that curtain tore from top to bottom. Now, the significance of being top to bottom is you couldn't just uh, uh, get a lift and go up and tear that. No, because it was torn from top to bottom meant that God tore that curtain. He took down the curtain that separated the most holy place that only one man on one day of the year could go into. And now anybody could go in that room. God did away with the limited access that people tried to a place. He made a difference. Now, when no one else used to be allowed to go in, everybody can go in. When no one else had access, everyone had access. No more curtains, no more tables. This was God's plan.